what's going on everybody on youtube max rock here with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing the first impressions for the motorola e5 play on boost mobile so here i have the motorola e5 play on boost mobile it was uh on sale at walmart once again this happened to be in the store and i saw it at the price of 59.99 and once i seen it at that price i couldn't resist it so with this phone here it's pretty much an updated version in my opinion of the moto e4 from last year it has the same exact processor only thing different is um the fact that it has a little bit bigger screen and it has Android 8.0. What I like to say is that the E5 Play is the Motorola E4, which I have right here on uh, 8.0. You have the same rated camera in the back, which is 8 megapixels, which uh, has an LED flash in the back with a Motorola logo there, as you can see. It has a 5 megapixel camera in the front again with an LED flash as well. Micro USB charging, microphone on the bottom as well. Headphone jack is on the top, along with noise canceling mic. You can see that you got your power button on the right side, which is rigid and you have your volume up and down keys. Uh, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. It's a 720p screen, by the way. It just has a little bit bigger of a screen. And I can say that it's a little bit more vibrant, has a few more nits, it's a little bit brighter outside because that's one of the things with Motorola phones, in my experience, I have seen that their phones are a little bit dim. Uh, it has 282 pixels per inch. And uh, you can see there that it has 10.7 gigabytes out the box. Uh, overall performance software is uh, pretty good with an Android 8.0. It has a couple of features that can be kind of cool to use, but at the same time can be a little annoying. And you can easily turn them off, but the picture-in-picture -picture thing is actually kind of cool with YouTube, but sometimes you don't necessarily want to see it, but there is a little option where you can hit the little music or headphone button, and it will actually disappear the other uh, YouTube video. But it also does have a Google Maps as well, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know why they miniaturized the Google Maps. You shouldn't be doing anything else if you're using your phone for directions. I can say here that overall, the experience has been, um, you know, pretty much what I expected from Android Auto. Uh, as far as the cameras go, I can say that you can probably get some decent pictures with a good, a good amount of sunlight. Uh, but as far as video goes, that can be good as well. But as long as you don't expect nothing too much on the phone, you should be perfectly fine. The flashes on the front and back, you know, they're pretty good but i would say if you're going to be taking selfies at night if you're not a person who cares too much about detail then you should be okay but it's not going to be the best camera and i'm just saying that because the led flash is for like a nighttime photo it's a good 59 dollars to spend if you're out there looking for a phone that has a uh, newer version of android has two gigs of ram 16 gigs of storage um, has a 720p screen it's pretty much uh, another bargain deal i like the phone it's actually worth it. The only thing that's different from the Ryzen version that I have here is that it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner in the front, which is not really a bad thing. It's just, I wish it would have had it because I have so many phones with fingerprint sensors now, and this is the security method that I prefer to use. I was using a phone on uh, Boost Mobile here. Uh, what deterred me from actually keep on, uh, keep, to keep using it was kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, I was using the phone quite a bit that day, and the battery ended up going you know, pretty low on me, so pretty much needed a charger. What kind of threw me off was the fact that it didn't have a quick charge. It was charging slow. So you guys can only imagine, you know, what I'm talking about here. It's, it seems kind of ridiculous, but when you got a phone that can charge like that, and then you got a phone that's charging super slow here, it does, it can change up the way you move, you know, based on how long your phone takes to charge. And so that was kind of weird. I noticed that. As far as overall performance here with the CPU, the combination, uh, for some reason, this phone seems to run a little bit better than the G6 Play because I just did the full review for the G6 Play and uh, I was saying how it was a little bit sluggish, but this phone runs a little bit better, which is kind of weird. I don't know why that is, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Geekbench scores here, let's get into that. This did a test here. You can see that I got a single core score of a 660 and a multi core score of 1846. It's pretty much expected when you have the Snapdragon 427. The single core performance is usually on par with that and the multi-core performance is on par with that as well. Now with the two two benchmark scores here, I believe I got a 43,000, which is about a thousand more than what the G6 Play got. So for some reason, these numbers are a little bit higher in this phone. That these tests don't usually mean anything. Uh, real world usage, that's what matters. The battery is 2,800 milliamp hours. So as far as battery life with a 5.2 inch HD screen, you can pretty much, you know, you can probably get about a full day out of it, depending on your usage and how, uh, you know, how you use your phone, when, whether Bluetooth is on, whether the brightness is all the way up, things like that, all types of things you have to consider. Overall, is your phone worth the money that you spend? Absolutely, as long as you get it at an on sale price. Um, I really honestly think that Motorola should just push out updates to certain phones, even though it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video here. So if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see anything else with the Motorola E5 Play, you know where to leave that at. 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already and if you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so that in the future when the video is posted to the channel the phone keeps sliding you can have access to it right away but until then my name is max the rock i want to say thank you of course for watching this video and you have a good day this is still sliding